Next up, Prince Harry is sparking royal wedding fever. Over the weekend, he and his girlfriend, actress Meghan Markle, spotted at his best friend's wedding in Jamaica. A lot of people are now wondering if they will be next to walk down the aisle. ABC News royal contributor Robert Jobson joins us from Buckingham Palace. And so tell us, what is the word on the street there, Robert? Well, they've certainly got tongues wagging, and the, really, the, the fact is they look very, very happy together. They've been going out for quite some months now, and she's been staying at his apartment in uh, Kensington Palace. And the fact of that matter is that, you know, the reality is they are very happy. She had his arm around her when she was at the wedding, and really, they are a very much a couple. And I think most people are thinking, yes, this could well be the one. You're saying most people are thinking that, but some cluck clucking, too, from traditionalists, right? Yeah, there's a few traditionalists out there are causing a little, you know, critics in the newspapers saying really because she's a divorcee, because maybe her profession's not suitable for uh, a royal bride, that she's not the right, the right type. That, that, but things have moved on really in that respect from the times of, uh, of 1955 when Princess Margaret was effectively banned from marrying her a love uh, group captain Peter Townsend, who was a divorcee, or even the abdication crisis of 36. You know, the, the monarchy has moved on. Prince Charles and Camilla, the next king and queen, are going to are actually divorcees. So look, there's no real problem. I think if Prince Harry wants to marry uh, Meghan, then there's no reason why he should. And people seem pretty confident. Um, bookies are taking bets on just about <laughs> everything, aren't they, Robert? <laughs> Yeah, they're taking bets on pretty much everything, including what title uh, she would have and what title he would have. She would immediately, if they got married, he would be, she, she would be a princess, so she would be Princess Henry of Wales. But the Queen would probably give him a title, a royal duke, like he did, like she did with uh, Prince William mm -hmm. and made him the Duke of Cambridge. The bets are that he's either going to be the Duke of Clarence or the Duke of Sussex, meaning that uh, Meghan will be the Duchess of Clarence or the Duchess of Sussex. So it's looking pretty strong at the moment. I think a lot of people are thinking this is going to happen. As long as they're happy. I, I had the privilege of spending some time last year. As long as that. Well, yeah, as well as happy with Prince Harry. And you know what, Robert? He really seems to be in such a great place. He, he, he just seems so settled in, in the charity work that he's doing and all. He really does, and he is somebody I think that most people remember Harry, that little boy when he's walking behind his mother's coffin, yeah. and he was so, there was such sadness there, wasn't there? I think most people just want this guy to find happiness to, and to really, you know, fight, fight, be the person he wants to be. He is the most popular member of the royal family. He's mm -hmm. natural, just like his mother, and when he's when he's mingling with people, they just really like him. Yes, and would be a pretty fun wedding, too. Yeah, oh, be a hoop. <laughs> it'll, be a, it'll be a real knees up, Robert, a real knees up when that does happen. All right, thank you very much. Good to have you here, Rebecca, as well. Come on.